Strive for improvement. Time for the blueprint. Mind to elevate, thrive and demonstrate, plant in the movement. Sow the seeds, educate the flourish, building up the team. Our network of purpose industry is green. Only scratch the surface, know this calling is deep. Nobody gon' not work us. Yeah, we chasing greatness, trying to give the code. Moving up with patience, foundation stone. Doing what it takes, we're here to break the mold. This for anyone who wanna level up. Let's grow. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Plant Movement Podcast, guys. I am your host, Willie Rodriguez. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I cannot wait for you guys to hear what Miss Rosie has to say, guys. So we have Miss Rosie in the house from Plant Me Rosie. She is super involved, super passionate with the green industry. She's been in the green industry for a very long time, has been on her own for four years, and boy, has she made an impact for this industry over just a small amount of time. We love her here. She's been featured before. She's back. She's doing new things, being creative, being innovative, trusting her gut. Believing in God and going full throttle. Oh, Amen. Right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the introduction. Thank you. I'm back Thank with you. the family. She's I'm <laughs> back with the family. What an introduction. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. She's a she's a mother. She's a she's a wife. <laughs> a grandmother now. A grandma. Congrats. A three month old. That's right. Yeah. Congrats. Your oldest a had a baby. So there's so much, right? Like you hold so many titles. There's so much on your plate. Obviously. But you still make time to do so much. And you've done things that other women in this industry have not done. Men haven't even done. And you get to be free. You get to be you. You know, at least you're very social on the social media. And you are you. Yes. Like 100%. You could be you. You could film you. You could be outside planting. You can be doing a moss wall. You can be at a car show that has plants. You could be wherever you put. Miss Rosie, she's going to be Rosie. And that's what I love about you is you're like a free soul, free spirit, go with the flow, feather in the wind type girl. And it makes you special. And it makes you part of what the green industry is because I feel like you got to have that attitude um, to really shine and do something big and great at the end of the day. It's a real blessing. It's a blessing to get to be me. I wasn't always me, right? Mm -hmm. For years, like anyone, you try to kind of keep up with whatever the 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 next person's doing whatever mm -hmm. the it person or trend or whatever and then at some point in my life i just said all i want to be is me this mm -hmm. cuckoo crazy you mm -hmm. know outgoing person and and so yeah so you have to be yourself always because we need that and we need mm -hmm. that in this industry more authenticity yeah. it's more relatable and so i want to relate i want to connect i want to inspire and the way i do that is by just being myself and getting my hands dirty and showing people Especially women, you can do it too. Yeah, no, I love it. You've been you've been able to do so much uh, on the stories for Instagram. I introduced her as a woman that has been on HSN, which we're gonna jump into, because those are milestones that you know you might be living it and you don't see it like that, but it's a big deal. You know, it's a big deal. It's a milestone just for the industry alone to be on a on a station like that, to be able to have plants in general on a station like that when it's not known for that. Uh, that's big for our industry, you know. So you're doing big things, whether you think it, uh, think it's little or whatever no, it is, you know. know it's, it's, it's it's something big at the end of the day. It is different. It is different. Um, you know, there's a funny story about that. Like, I knew without knowing that I would get to that point. As weird as that sounds, when I was a little girl, okay. I knew television was something natural to me, and that I really wanted to dabble in that. Mm -hmm. Just didn't know, never in my wildest dreams that I think it would be through plants, through mm -hmm. something that I'm so passionate about. And like my story, almost my destiny was always mm -hmm. through plants. And that's, and I've done stories about it mm -hmm. and stuff. And that's, it's true. Like if you follow your dreams and your passion and what you truly, authentically, genuinely are good at and love, opportunity will meet, it will rise up and meet you. And I think that's kind of what happened there. But I was infatuated with the movie Joy. Do you, do you know the movie Joy? I do not. I'm not a movie, yes. a huge movie guy. So the movie Joy was about um, a woman who developed the first mop. She was really innovative cool. and she developed the first mop and she sold it on QVC. And her name was Joy. Long story short, she became a success on QVC. Real story. Single mom. Uh, became a multimillionaire innovating. And so hmm. she does a lot of household products. And, and her story, if you get to watch that movie, Joy. and I remember being a little girl watching the movie Joy and thinking, oh my, what a dream that would be if I had mm -hmm. a story like that. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward, I'm on HSN, which is QVC. Mm -hmm. So I think that life also sends you little snippets of the future. Mm -hmm. You just gotta pay attention. You gotta, yeah. and, and 
and believe it. You got to overcome whatever might doubt, you know, the, the fear doubt and stuff. within you because it's always within us. It's it's just a feeling. Fear yeah. is just a feeling. And just because you made it, made it you know, let's say, on HSN, it doesn't mean that that's the end. You never. Know, there's so much more. Because then there's a, never, there's a new level two of challenge yeah. in your yeah. life because you want to always, you're only in competition with yourself, right? I mean, mm -hmm. at least that's the way it should be. There is no competition. The competition is yourself and in your head. But when you get to the to that next level, don't get complacent because you need to know that, okay, you got here. What's the next thing and what's the next thing? But also don't beat yourself up about the future because you're not there. So be in the present because the past is the past. That's done. The future, we don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. let's, live in the, let's live in that present and in, embody it and in yeah, align it. with your purpose and and things just naturally flow yeah, your way. Like, I think that's what yeah. happened for me. A hundred percent. I feel like a lot of people are like that. And us being in the green industry, everybody listening, you know, uh, you're, you're doing landscaping, you're out and about. Like for us, we're planting plants, we're doing videos, we're doing all these different things outside. Like, I love, like you feel the wind, you feel it in your on your arms, you know, you can hear the birds. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just so much. You get in touch with like, you know, a different side of life that we live every single day, but if you don't see it that way, you'll never experience it that way. Oh, yeah. And I feel like we all need to take time to just, like, notice where we're at. But, wow. The best thank, way to do thank that. Thank you for coming. Yes, I'm happy to be here. This is a vibe. This is always a vibe here. We're going to start smoking cigars. You know, <laughs> nah. why not? Some, uh, what do you, what do you nah, call old fashions smoke or whatever? The I know old that that's what here. we need, an old fashioned. An old fashioned. No, no, no. A cigar will make me always get a pound With a little honey. rosemary <laughs> twig in it, and we know it's plant-based. <laughs> plant-based. Oh, man. But, um, so... I want to I want you to introduce you cuz you do biophilic design for you guys that don't know what she does. She does biophilic design, but there's so much more to Plan Me Rosie on the different things that you touch in regards to services that you offer because, you know, at the end of the day you do, you know, you know, you do have a business to run. Talk talk to us about that and then from there we're going to continue on into the other topics. Yes, it's true. I have to run a business. I want to play all day with plants, <laughs> but I realize that sometimes that uh, yeah, you, you got to sell the them. You yeah. can't just play with them. <laughs> yeah, you can't keep them all. You can't you know? keep them all. So yeah, basically in a nutshell, that is what I do. I'm a biophilic designer and and I can design with any type of biophilia. It's just not not plants, it's also flowers, it's anything that is nature made that's created by wood, nature a rock, piece anything. of wood a rock anything a like boot. literally anything uh, i can repurpose yeah. it recycle it design with it um and i just i don't know i've always been like that i've always been very resourceful with like the little materials i had around me and i can really put things together and so when i you know i got laid off four years ago from a big grower i was like i had to go into business for myself i was forced to go into business for myself which was the best thing that ever happened to me by the way and so i was like how do i you know my strengths what are they and i was like okay i can design you know i have marketing background i can develop a product from you know from conceptual to execution so mm -hmm. i was like i'm just going to follow what i know and that worked out for me and it's worked out for me so i started a sustainability line home decor uh, using the preserved moss mm -hmm. and for me moss wasn't always what I did I did plants for many years like green walls with living mm -hmm. plants and then landscape design which is something natural with living plants but then I saw that there was a need for the the, the person the client wants to learn about plants but they didn't all have the green thumb but I didn't want to put plastic in the homes I wanted mm -hmm. to keep it natural mm -hmm. so through moss preserved moss I was able to offer that and then I wanted to keep it as sustainable as possible so like the vessels we use the planters it's always going to be something organic whether it's wood you know or okay. clay or terracotta i try to keep it as natural as possible down to like the glues we use because that is important like what we have around our kids what we inhale every day in our surroundings mm -hmm. in our homes you know chemicals vocs things we know plastic release and there is something very you know there really is wellness in plants mm -hmm. wellness plants breathe i mean they only right help us breathe mm -hmm. but they do so, a lot more there's different there's ones right that do they make you so many different so many things. but they make you feel good right it's a feel good mm -hmm. thing and so i wanted to stay t true to that so i've dabbled with things not just plants you know we, we have other things we do like the wellness line but it's all around plant and plant-based so it's like okay here i have my plant next to me i have mm -hmm. i'm doing self-care with plants plant-based things mm -hmm. um things that are safe to have around the home and so i'm just trying to stay build a brand mm -hmm. and awareness through that landscaping you're still doing absolutely still doing it i love it i wish i did it more please call me mm -hmm. um it isn't easy especially down here in south florida it's really really hot mm -hmm. to work with landscaping 
but I love designing. Mm -hmm. I love taking a blank canvas and then see what it turns out in the end, mm -hmm. and then the reaction from the client, and I, that's really rewarding to me. Um, and right now, what I'm offering actually is uh, to a lot of the landscapers, because I see there's a need in the industry for drawings and renderings and design, and it's expensive to hire a creative. So instead of you know having to pay a whole nother salary, you can hire me and I can design for you. Mm -hmm. You can do the installation, you can do the procurement, no problem. All I'm doing for you is I'm designing, even if you need me to present it to the client for you, I can do that as well. So it's 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 an added value that you give your client. And I saw I said there was an opportunity there for me. Yeah. Something I love to do. I can turn the design around for you quickly. So let's yeah. talk about. No, it. there's a lot of opportunity in that, and design too. You think about it. There's so many ways you can take a black a blank canvas, and offering something as simple as that it keeps you out of the sun, but you're still involved in the project. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to be. No, I still have to go. Know? Unfortunately, I have to go yeah. on project and manage and stuff like that. When when it's by design and, and I'm installing mm -hmm. as well, yeah. should I say? Yeah. But I've learned to get around it, and I've learned to like you know long sleeves. You gotta wear your hat, your sunscreen. But I prefer not to yeah, be you're, in 100 you're a hundred degree home, weather. You're a homestead girl too. I'm used to it. I'm used to getting my yeah. hands dirty. Don't don't let yeah. the straight hair today yeah. fool you. Yeah, guys, <laughs> don't let the makeup and the clean clothes fool oh, yeah, you. I get down This and dirty. This girl's dirty 99 percent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm really I and it's true. It really is. I was talking. She to, always is. You're always dirty. Your hands are always dirty. I'm I always, see always you doing something. You know. Look, I got my nails done like first time uh -huh. in forever. Uh -huh. For But for what though? For to just, get them dirty. Just to get them dirty. You gotta take a picture, like a just real nice picture. Dirty. dirty hands with the with the it's nails. Horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses for everyone else out there. Oh man. So, so with the so you, right now. Because I want to get into how you got into HSM, but before that, I want to talk about the products. So some of the products that you do, you are selling them online. Um, what are some of the, like, what is the strategy that you're using? Because you're selling stuff online, and but then you're also putting them in local markets, mm -hmm. which I think is super cool, which we went to have lunch at the Heritage Market, yes. which I've taken my kids multiple times, and the office, we all go together sometimes. And we go have lunch over there. It's in Homestead, guys. Heritage Market. Awesome place. Mm -hmm. um, and we saw your line there. And I was like, oh, we were like, oh, my gosh. So talk to us about that. So when I created the line, I was very tactical in the where I wanted to put the line. Because it is, it's, um, it, it's, it's almost like from, from farm to table kind of deal. It's uh -huh. a local artist. It's an artisan. And I wanted my it had to match my brand mm -hmm. and when i went to the heritage market i just love the vibe there right they're it just felt like very, you. yes from, from and their originals and and you know david's an original mm -hmm. homestead person mm -hmm. you know native that's what they do there yes mm -hmm. so it's all it all made sense and it just spoke to me the the place really spoke to me um being myself from homestead and just so i wanted it made sense so i, I did a little pilot test kind of on some product there Um, I wasn't sure, like price points and things like that. As you're learning, you know, mm -hmm. was this going to work? And people responded well to it. So I saw it as a channel for me to mm -hmm. do retail and also e-commerce that we do online. And I don't know, I really enjoy seeing people's reactions. Sometimes I shouldn't say this, but I sit there and I go have lunch and I'm like watching, you know, <laughs> customers buy. Undercover. <laughs> Undercover. <laughs> Undercover, buy some. That's of what the I'm gonna stuff. start doing. I'm gonna just sit here in the cut and see what people. You know, do I call it. I call it a, this. I'm Mark. I'm testing the market. You know, I'm. I'm. You know, so it's a good strategy. It, it's though. a market I like walk. It. Because it's if not, you you you'll, you'll never be able to fill that gap of what is going on. Yeah, you know? and, and what what are they saying? Yeah. And you can say follow us, tag us. Some do, some don't. Mm -hmm. Some forget. Just it's just you know an afterthought. Mm -hmm. But. Um, I do, and I love people watching, so I see how they interact, and then when they walk into the market, of course, the menu, you first go to the food, mm -hmm. the food's yeah. good, mm -hmm. but then I see them immediately gravitate towards mm -hmm. the moss, and like, you want to touch it, it is something really interactive, the kids love it, mm -hmm. it they say it increases productivity and cre creativity yeah. to have, you know, nature around you, so it's, it's rewarding to me, so like, on those days that I'm like, I give up, because, mm -hmm. you know, XYZ happens, right, we all mm -hmm. have those hard days, mm -hmm. I don't know. A, there's always a little push. Mm -hmm. So my friend taught me the word. When all gets hard, just push. Just you, push. If you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Just push. And so that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I, I, I convince myself on hard days. I trick my brain to get up and mm -hmm. get moving. Yeah. 
because well, it, it, you'll it be needs, old one day and slow. It needs to be hard. <laughs> like I was telling you, it needs to be hard. If it's not hard, there's no growth. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. It's yeah. true. It can't, it can't. It has to be because you gotta. You know, you get molded to become what's next mm -hmm. and and the change in the mold you think about it it's painful it's not it's not easy like think about a caterpillar we were talking about earlier with the schools and the butterfly mm -hmm. garden um you know a, a caterpillar's got to go through all of this stuff to become a butterfly you know, and then it's break a lot. through the cocoon that you last know, all of that bash. all of that process and um and and that's the same way you know you can look at it theoretically so you have your line there um, do you have your line anywhere else right now, locally? I'm working on other places, too, mm -hmm. so stay tuned, stay okay. tuned. We are going to have another retail location soon. We're mm -hmm. kind of, you know, fin finalizing that. Um, so, yeah, so you'll start to see little little bits and parts here of Plant Me Rosie spreading out down in South Hopefully. Florida, yeah. God willing. And then we're still online, so if you just go on to our website, plantmerosie.com, our shop is on there. You can see what we have. We also do custom pieces, so if, there, if you have a vision of something, just like when I did this, yes. you had the vision. Um, send it to me. I render for you. I send you the visual. We agree on it. And, and yeah, guys, we we um, we we wanted a, a moss piece here in the in the studio, and we got the Plant Movement Network, which has three plants with a microphone uh, head, and she was able to do it all different colors. It has LED lights. It has a bunch of stuff, um, cool. glass and everything, plexiglass, and we love it. Like it's a statement. It. Everybody it's, comes it's, in there like, oh, this is really nice. We're like, like, yeah, it, it was. It's awesome. It was a good investment. It's awesome. But I feel like that that is, you know, like like for you, strategy wise, to get into all these local markets. There's a lot of local markets right now. That is like the thing. It's called agro tourism. It's something that people are fighting, believe it or not, um, when it comes to the ags and you know what the county's pushing and what they consider ag and all of that. There's a lot of back and forth, which. You know, everyone has their own opinion on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. I love taking my kids to all of these things. I do too. You know, but there's so much room for you to, you know, take pictures there. And you could do something as far as you getting in there and doing a, like a day where the artist is here. Meet the artist. And then using those pictures with their name to easily get into other people, uh, other people's places by shooting emails. And, and, you know, with confidence, hey, I'm Plan Me Rosie. I'm here at the Heritage Market, which you know who they are. And if you want my line, just let me know. Great idea, <laughs> see? And you I spend need to three days. More often. <laughs> you spend three days blasting emails. Great idea. And I feel I'm like, on, that, I like note writing it down that's right a now. good strategy. <laughs> that is a great one. To get locally. And then online, where are you selling the products? On our website. Okay. Yeah, so just go on our website. Like no I said, Etsy, our shops no, none on of that. There. No Etsy. It's okay. just, you know. A shop we run on our straight from Online. our website okay. um, and we did that because I wanted to generate traffic to the website because mm -hmm. the website shows you everything. more broad everything mm -hmm. that we've done or at least a, a big amount of you know pictures and visuals and kind of an explanation and testimonials and everything's kind of run through there and I'll just be honest to me it's easier to manage yeah. than to have to go to all these different platforms you no, can create them all yeah. and merge them all into if you're by your yourself website. it's tougher yeah um, if you have help then like all those other platforms are like I, I would definitely want, would like jump there because it gives you more exposure yeah there's but the more, more platforms there. you're on absolutely so if you, you're, you're on Etsy Shopify I mean there's but it's time all consuming. kinds of stuff you gotta have mm -hmm. you know staff someone that can help like us here we're like people are like oh you gotta be on LinkedIn you gotta be on TikTok I'm like bro is it I have a life, you know. Some days, some like days I have a like, life. I can't keep up yeah, with yeah, yeah. trying to keep it's up. Too much. So yeah, yeah. I've decided that it isn't a race for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not racing. I'm not like. No, I said, you gotta live your yeah, life, I'm and not you gotta gonna, enjoy yeah, the day, I, I, and and yeah. and you can't like live. Basically, you end up getting caught up in spending your whole day on creating a life on social media. But now, what about your life? What like your real, real life? Yeah, the day to day. <laughs> you know, and exposure is not everything at the end of the day. I feel like the stars are going to align regardless. Thank you. So. <laughs> I feel the same. I feel like know, what's naturally going to happen, what's for happen. me, is going to find It's going to find No you. matter who, what, well, you gotta where, put what effort. I'm doing, you, you can't have just to sit do in, the effort. You know, I'm not saying, but yeah. you know. You gotta align, you gotta align lie. with your destiny, and that's how it works. One and of, so I'm one of the other that. things, one of the other things you've done is you have jumped onto what is it, Telemundo Univision? Univision. Univision. Mi gente and, Latina. Yeah, <laughs> and you've done things in Spanish, um, selling your ideas. A lot of it's creative stuff, like uh, like an old boot mm -hmm. filled with dirt with a succulent. And things like that that you have been able to do there, and you and you promote like just being creative on those platforms. Um, you um, 
from from there, how did you get the opportunity by using that? Because that's an opportunity to to push you into. You think that's helped you get into HSN? I think so. It gave me TV experience. Mm -hmm. I've been with Univision over three years now, just okay. doing DIY. And what it is basically is showing how to repurpose household items that you already have into plant materials. You know, stamp whatever a mm -hmm. planter, etc. Um, so that's, and then teaching about plants, like I'm the plant expert. Mm -hmm. So Univision had its challenges too, because I speak Spanglish half my life. Mm -hmm. So it's not like perfect Spanish. It's not, you know, perfect it's kind English. of, it's typical, too, yeah. you know, Cuban American kid it's in Miami. Miami. It's Miami. It's the 305 <laughs> It's area the 305, you uh -huh. know, um, vocabulary. But, um, so I had to really clean up my Spanish, learn Spanish. But there, for me, that was... A stomping ground because I learned cameras where to look at how you know what what lights uh, b-roll even things that simple what does that mean you know because it just that world uh, though I've been in television I've done some extra work and stuff um, and when I was younger but never on that level uh, of professionalism and you know like camera on the world mm -hmm. TV life mm -hmm. so I think that helped kind of maybe push me through the door but the way I got into HSN I just I was at the gym one day um, about a year and a half ago and I, I get a phone call from like a talent manager and they're like oh we've heard great things about you you come recommended and we want you to be you know co-host on on HSN and at first <laughs> I'm not gonna lie um, I thought he was like a serial killer trying to lure me in <laughs> or something, a like a guy, a, guy. a man. And it just sounded uh -huh. too good to be true. And I was like, okay, this is where he lures me in and he, and kills, he kills me, me. or whatever. <laughs> but I still went. I still went knowing like ding, 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 ding. All my receptors uh -huh. are going off. Like, you know, you just this shovel is the not, gun. Yeah. Shovel the nine millimeter. This is not a good idea, maybe. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I scratched off whatever in my uh -huh. head was like safe enough at least and Did i took you check a leap the of faith address? was the address actually no. a building like like a like a tv How production building initial, i think we had like a lunch after that okay but even to that moment i was like what are you doing you know yeah. you of all people know yeah. uh your street smarter you yeah, know yeah. don't do this yeah. but there was also something in my gut that said you have to see what's on the other side of this what mm -hmm. this is about i need closure yeah so we went, you know, I went forward or whatever, and then, you know, we had to go to um, to, to St. Petersburg, to the HSN headquarters, oh, to, wow. to, to you get certified. Well, you have oh. to go through a whole, you know, they train you, they test you, like, are you TV ready? And I got certified, like, the same day. So it was it was great. It was it just, everything was, like, it was just meant to be. ding, 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 all the, all the chess pieces. And I was, like... Lord, I know what's for me always mm -hmm. feels natural. Mm -hmm. And remember that. What's for you always feels natural. When you're fighting things in life, that's yeah. not for you. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because that's not so, for something bigger, something better. Yeah. It's a different direction. So everything just started aligning, and I'm very in tune with myself in life. Mm -hmm. I always have been. And I listened to my intuition. My intuition was like, this: something big is coming for you. Mm -hmm. And so, What were you selling on HSN? A blooming product. Uh, Mandevilla, okay. front. So I was doing bare root roses my first episodes, mm -hmm. and I had never. I remember. It was that. like a. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I was like, "What is this, God? I've something died because I've always worked with a plant, a seed, or a cutting. You know, you propagate it, it grows. Was this you, your product, or they? So it's not. The so it's it's not HSN. It's a vendor that's on HSN, and I'm working okay. for them. Ah, uh, so you're you're a salesperson. So I'm for essentially their a sales talent on national television and they paid you for this and you get paid you get paid you get paid, ah, you get is, paid for this cool. so, yeah, so if you're looking for you know <laughs> no, world if you're looking for talent yeah. to sell your plants on television hey no but for anybody listening to like there's talent there's so much talent out there guys you know you never know what you're doing that's why you gotta do it you gotta and do you it. gotta be consistent because you never know who's watching you never know what they're conjuring up in their mind and they they want you they want to use you but you just don't know mm -hmm. you know uh, so that's cool so so you were selling bare root roses which was cool that was very different it, it was, was super during, cool what, what was it mother's day no it was i believe our first i started in fall in the fall okay. so i was doing oh actually i was doing the amaryllis and bare root roses because you okay. get a category of plants that you're okay. doing depends what's on season you know whatever okay. Uh, is yeah, in season sure. right but it's all mostly outdoor stuff with okay. the exception of the amaryllis being indoors but whatever indoor houseplant outdoor we did both 
and um, you, you get your, your segment and you go on. This is what, you know, the That's lineup is. And then you have X, just like QVC, you have X amount of minutes to sell, sell, sell. There's a ticker there. You have X amount of number of plants to sell. So you and gotta then, be a good salesman, but the strategy is crazy because it's not sale, sell, sell. You also gotta like, act. you gotta act, you gotta touch people's soul. You gotta be a little bit real, but you can't be too real mm -hmm. because that's Imagine what they put you having the to sell. If it's hard for us to sell now, Willie, sometimes ten a truckload, ten thousand of whatever on uh -huh. a day to day, and we have like two weeks to sell it. Imagine uh -huh. five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have ten thousand yeah. units of, of amaryllis bulbs to sell in five minutes. So talk yeah. about, and it's on live television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's you, there's no room for mistakes. You yeah. can't, you know. I mean, anything can happen. You sneeze, you cough, you. Oh, which is fine. You any, sneeze like, and you keep going. At you that do. Point, you you know? have to because that's live TV. But think about the pressure like in the beginning like it kind of just you can't felt, ha you can't you even can't. think about it you can't you can't i you feel like if i was just... there i would just be like dude you ready, you ready? <laughs> no. i would look at the guy no. now i don't be like now but now. Like, dude, are you ready bro let's yes. go bro we got five we yeah. got five we got five minutes and <laughs> you know so it's exciting and it's it's so much fun and it's to me it's just natural like i embody no, that's cool that's i so, channel that's so my awesome. inner Sasha Fierce, like Beyonce uh -huh. does. Okay. <laughs> and it's Rosie. I yeah. channel my inner. You're Miami Rosie. Rosie. I you're, not, you, you're not I'm, Olga. I'm not Olga Andy. Rosa yeah. uh, Anthony. That's my name. Give her my name. <laughs> but I'm I'm Rosie, and I turn on when those cameras, and I just it's just. No, but all that to me. all that helps you because you don't know what's next. So today it's HSN. Tomorrow God knows what it is. And by you saying yes, going to the lunch, going to learn, going to the class. Being on TV multiple times between Univision, look, Univision got you ready for this. Now and this that got you easy. ready waking for waking up at four in the morning yeah, yeah, yeah. to do you know live TV for Univision mm -hmm. at five to be on air at yeah. one. Like it takes you know a toll. It's hard. It's a very being a mother, being a mother, you know, two kids, a wife. You have two young kids. Yes, and well, you have I have four older, you have, kids. You have two older two and two younger, and two are, you know still at home yeah. and they need me. So it's many, many roles you play. So you have to kind of figure out how to balance life. But I said, you know what? If my kids are in this position one day, I want them to go for it. And yeah. I know that they will be very proud of me, and they are. And they're like, Mom, of course. You, you know, you've um, you've really gotten over a lot of adversities, and, mm -hmm. and that's it. For me, it's like they're my why, and they're my reason I do this. And mm -hmm. I tell them all the time, just like, go for it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's a good, it's a great example, and I love it. I, I, I don't know, I, I know what all that is. You're so good for it. You, you know, need to no, be no, on no. television, HSN, 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 if you're watching this. <laughs> <Nah. guy. laughs> I'll stick to the plant nursery. No, you're here. just no, naturally we'll, we'll really it. good at it. But, we'll yeah. go there, we'll make something happen. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it's cool, you know, you think about it, you know, getting inside your head of how you felt and all of that stuff, but it prepares you. You know, just like the classes and the and the stuff that you've done teaching, uh, like what you do at FNGLA, uh, the things that you've done, because there's other things that she's done, which you are also the president of TPIE for 2025. Mm -hmm. So, guys, she's the president president for uh, TPIE 2025, which is awesome. If you guys don't know what TPIE is, the FNGLA. You're missing out. Yes, Straight the up. FNGLA, yeah. you guys should know what it is by now, but if you're just tuning in and you don't know what the FNGLA is, in Florida, we have an association for plants, horticulture, agriculture, and that's the our association. Our main big hub is FNGLA. They put on shows. Here in Florida, we get two. We get the landscape show, which is more outdoor material, the heavy equipment, all of that stuff, which is fire. You need to go. And then the other one is TPIE, which is for tropical plants. It's more interior, more of that resale, like retail market, which I love. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. We go, Eddie and I go, we walk it, and it's like, dude, I don't want to leave, but we have other things to do. You know, yes. at the end Isn't of the day. Isn't the energy good there? Yeah, it's so good. It's, it's, it's such it's, a vibe there. It's dope. If you want to meet, like, just plant people, you know, you go there, you're going to meet too many of them. You're going to get you overwhelmed. You walk away so inspired, <laughs> yeah. and you walk away, like, just ready to hit the ground running with the yeah. ideas that you get and the people. Where else can you go and you can literally network all these different people, different yeah. Facets that of tie our into industry, the industry in under one roof. Yeah. Take advantage of it. It's, it happens it's very in January good. Yeah. 22nd through the 24th. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I encourage you to come out. Encourage you to come out out in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Fort Lauderdale, in my opinion, personally, I've been doing the show for many, many years, over 15 years. I feel 
that for Lauderdale has the greatest energy of all time. Mm-hmm. We've done the show in Tampa. Mm-hmm. We've done it in other locations because of whatever circumstance. Mm-hmm. And we're back where I consider like home mm-hmm. base and for everybody TBI. gets excited yeah. about Tampa and all, or I'm sorry, Fort Lauderdale. Wow. And also all of the open houses that happen on the farms. So yeah. even if you want to have an open house yeah. during TPIE, a lot of farms have open houses and it gives the TPIE visitor, they can come out also and get their oh, shuttles, buses. There's that, so many that, services. That is, that is, Visit farms. That is cool. So you go to the show, you see a it. booth, and then they, they, they have a day. Mm-hmm. So you can have like, like us, oh, Azor Amano, we can have an Azor Amano day. People come, they'll shuttle everybody over here, and now we're doing presentations on who we are, what we do. Eddie, I think we need to look into that. Yeah, let's take advantage of that's it. That's a it's good wonderful. thing. It's we'll have lunch. We'll get. We'll bring Cinco Hermanos the taco truck over. Oh here. yeah, Cinco Hermanos and then it's Fat Boy Ricks and Fat Boy Ricks the burgers. Yeah, I gotta try those. You guys are always having those, and I see it, yeah. and I'm like, I gotta try another this level. burger. Another level. Another level. It's, you you know it's made with love. Yes. Like a hundred percent. Yeah. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the episode with Plant Me Rosie. Real quick, a word from our sister company, the sponsor that makes all of this happen, Ace Ornamental Nursery. Man, when we started off, our mission was to make a difference, make an impact with the product. We definitely have done that, but we've kicked it up many notches, servicing landscapers that were tired of looking for product, garden centers tired of looking for product, tying it all up together, delivering it, locating it, delivering it, getting it done, saving so much time, giving you guys back your life is what we've really done. Find problems, create solutions, team up with great people, and build lifetime bonds through relationships that really make an impact. So with that being said, guys, reach out 305-216-5320. Ask for Daisy. Tell her you got a list. We'll get an estimate back to you within 48 hours. And let's start. Now let's get back into the episode. Same thing with single models. So talk to me about that because you got into FNGLA, you got involved, and then from there you... You took it amongst yourself to do a class that you were doing what? Um, Living War or what were you doing? When moss I did, art? What yes, was it? I did Moss. So I taught moss. about 160, well, there were 60 people that signed up, 160 tickets. Uh-huh. Um, and now we've got 160 more biophilic Moss artists out in the industry. That's awesome. That class sold out. Oh, man, yeah. that class was so empowering for me. Yeah, I was like, are you course. kidding me? Like my first workshop uh, was during the pandemic. And I got laid off and I was like, what am I going to do? And it was just like a small idea. And I had like three people. They probably felt sorry for me, signed Mm -hmm. up for my class. Mm -hmm. And I think they were all friends. I don't Mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. But to see from in such a short period, like three people. three to 160. To 160. At the FNGLA. At the FNGLA. And Mm -hmm. then even after the show, like people would stop me and be like, man, you taught us so many things. And I'm seeing them now. They're they're using these tools that were thought they've opened a new channel Mm -hmm. of business that they can sell, you know, Moss Art. And um, that empowers me and that makes me feel good. And that's how I give back. Yeah. You know, because I'm not paying for this stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. my time that I'm giving you my knowledge, the techniques that I learned that I wish somebody would have given me. Mm-hmm. And if I can help maybe catapult a little bit or maybe, you know, kind of um, quantum jump you a little more, however that saying goes, then that's that's how I give back. Yeah, I think that's no. how my purpose And sometimes. So I'm like these workshops help me teach and inspire and the people that I meet and the things they tell me. So And I feel like you can learn too there because you're getting ask questions from people you don't know what the heck they're gonna ask mm, you question anyone with a question and <laughs> god knows what they're gonna <laughs> yes. say so whatever they say you might have to really think and then have you, you get ever to been learn stuck something. have you have you ever been asked a question that you're like uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah me too me maybe, too maybe. me too i don't remember but yeah me too i don't know i've i, I don't know I, I don't think so i think i can get myself out of yeah. pretty much anything i'm putting too, put but, into but yeah it's, it's true you learn a lot you learn so much in the networking mm-hmm. and the doors that open and the opportunity mm-hmm. so everything is a lesson learned and everything's an opportunity mm-hmm. and if you if it's an opportunity missed that's on you right yeah, because right. it presented itself mm-hmm. So use TPIE um, for so many things. For me, I started, for me, it's a very nostalgic year after year because it's like I'm going back home to where I started. As a biophilic designer, I remember starting as like a rookie, a junior, and I was going there to set up the booths, to build the booths. I would design and help build these booths. And you do designs for booths? Well, yes, something's happening, so yes. If, so if someone needed a design 
Absolutely. to design their booth mm -hmm. at any of these landscape shows. I can do it, and I've done it before. You can set it. You can help them set, get it, get everything they need. Yes, I won't name the companies, but I've done it before. So I do trade show again from conception to execution. I can draw for you. And you've done a bunch of shows. Yeah. You also do the home design and remodel show. Shout out to Adam. What's up, Adam? So that's another show that you do. So that's cool because a lot of guys, we talked about that. You know, we go to these shows, not to cut you off, but we go to these yeah. shows and a lot of booths, I want to say, let's say 30% of, 40% of booths, 50, nah, let's, let's, let's go up. Let's be real. 80% of booths are more basic, which is cool. It's your product that yeah. shines at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. But then you get 20% that kick it up 85 notches, which is what I love to see mm -hmm. because they're not just bringing in their product. They're also bringing in innovation. They're bringing in design. They're bringing in so many different things that that's a whole market in itself of competition. And I love it. Um, so, like, for me, I was like, we've never done a show, right, presented at a show. So I'm like, man, if I was to do a show, I wouldn't want it to just be basic. I don't mm -hmm. want it to do this. But then I have so much on my plate. I don't want to have to deal with this. I would, like, try to find somebody. So there you go. And that's a great point. Plant and I Rosie. hear it over and over <laughs> and over from my clients. They're always like, I don't want to be basic. I don't want to yeah. just have, like, a standard. But then we also have our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we're also, like, I'm not creative in that aspect. Like, I, for me, it would be, what am I going to, like, what are we going to do? And... For me, it's like, man, if I can just pay somebody to get this that's done it. for it's me. That's it. It's a solution based for you. Yeah, that's it. It's Hallelujah. If I can show up, Hallelujah. man. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I don't have to take care <laughs> yeah. of it. Trade show, you know, like showcasing is hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. You have to the build and the move and the breakdown, the sale, the floor, the mm -hmm. long days, Everything. you know. And so I handle that for you. I bring myself. It depends for how, how far yeah. along the project yeah. you've hired me. But if it's just design, I design it for you. If you need execution as well, I can do that for you. You know, Everything. and so it's it's it's, good. it's it's just like it, plug and play for me. I was like, take what I did for so many years for someone else, mm -hmm. and now I'm doing it for myself. Because yeah, you have that experience, because you did it. Somewhere. I did it for so many years, which that gives you that confidence. So you know you're gonna pull it off because you did it. You know, you yeah. I think and it gives me a competitive edge too because it's 100%. a niche. It's unique. Who and does that? Who does for, that? Uh, who does that? You're the only person I know that offers that. Like, yeah. who has the cojones to say that? Hey, I'll design your booth for you. Thank you. Think about it. People don't want to get involved in that. They rather do something else yeah. with their time, you know. So the fact that you do it is very good yeah, to know. So yeah, For you guys that are that are that are in the industry looking and want to stand out, you want to stand out. TPIE twenty twenty five. You already know. Hit her up. And start working and brainstorming now. Yes. Don't wait for a week before. Yeah, and even if it's just a brainstorm session, we can do that as well. So a brainstorm, like a consulting session. session, we do it for you. So it's how whatever you need. Okay, you have here uh, so one of the topics you wanted to touch was sustain promoting more sustainable living and well being through plants and products. I Talk to us about that. So that's why the sustainability line was created. Our mm -hmm. home decor line was created because I think that sustainable living is it's so important. It's vital. We can do so much with what we already have instead of just we, just as humans, we consume so much, don't we? We mm -hmm. waste so much. So it's looking at the bigger picture, the landscape and saying, okay, how can we recycle, repurpose and innovation, I guess, falls in that too, because mm -hmm. you can create sustainability through, through innovation, innovation, through ideas, through something maybe you need that you, and I guess that's how the best innovations come out. It's something you end up identifying that you needed, you know, and you put out to the market. Mm -hmm. So I encourage for us as a whole, as a community, and especially in the world we live in now, everything's so expensive. Inflation is just mm -hmm. getting worse. Um, hard goods are getting more expensive. Everything, you know, you know. So I'm like, how can sustainability help? And at home, I, we practice it a lot at home with okay. my family. And with my children, I try instilling it into them, the importance of sustainability, products, clothing. Like thrifting is huge now. Mm -hmm. And people repurpose things, clothing, millennials. I love it because they're huge on uh, thrifting. Shout out, millennials. I think I'm a millennial. Are we, we millennials? We, we gotta millennials? Open up. I think we're millennials, right? I'm not sure. I'm like what, right on the cuff, so I never know. What we need to do is go to Goodwill, buy everything there, <laughs> buy and all then the go planters. open. No, no, we go to Goodwill, we buy the clothes, and we buy all this stuff, and then we start. A, we open a store in the mall, mm -hmm. and we sell everything for like 600 more. For 600 more. I guarantee you to do well. But why not? And <laughs> it's you know, it's yeah. something you can re you can repurpose that if it's a well made cashmere sweater and you find them whatever that thing can last you 15 20 years and you're doing something for our earth because it's not ending up on a landfill mm -hmm. poisoning our soil you're repurposing it you're reusing it 
so I yeah thrifting I've done it I I, I was I loved it for a, I used to a go, big part of I my life to, I, I I would thrift and resell actually resell. we're talking about that that was my no, another life that's a, the things that you go the journey I remember when I was younger I polo was in polo those mm -hmm. shirts were sixty five bucks I was gonna spend sixty five or bucks. the Tommy Hilfiger the Tommy Hilfiger you popped your cross, collar you popped eight, your collar oh yeah we were popping them with oh. the Jersey Shore Wednesday nights <laughs> shout out to, to we the were Jersey the Shore. Jersey Shore <laughs> Look at Eddie rubbing his head <laughs> um, so I would go out I got creative I'm like man where can I find polos and lacrosse oh I know where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to Coral Gables. Maybe. And I would go to a Goodwill closest to, to Coral Gables, and that's where I would go. And I would that's find right. lacrosse, I would find polo, and we were rocking them for like 10 bucks. That's right. And we are making it happen. Same thing. You make it happen. You make it happen. There is no reason. The resources. You need a little bit of creativity. Yeah. yeah I grew up with like but nothing. Yeah. So we'd go thrifting. And I remember my, my aunt would be like, we're going to Burdines. And I knew Burdines. what that meant. <laughs> I knew what Burdines meant. Yeah. And so... I maybe that's part of like how I became a lot of how resourceful Creative, my brain yeah. is because not having much and having you know want, and going to school and it's like I gotta you know I can't let the kids know I'm super yeah. poor. It's about <laughs> so. ideas and and one thing I want to mention too, guys. Like um, a lot of you guys that are listening, you want more. Uh, you guys are really trying to grasp and really trying to get something out of these podcasts that really impact you, that can spark something, turn on the light bulb in your life. Uh, for you guys that have ideas that can really be innovative, I know that what everyone tells you is to keep the ideas to yourself. But no. the reality is if you wait for yourself to do it, one, it's not going to happen. It, like, it might not happen uh, because it, you might need a whole like community to make it happen. So don't, don't hold back on those innovative ideas. Get them in the, in the ears of people that can actually make it happen. And, uh, there's no dumb there. ideas there's none like yeah. it seems impossible until someone does it mm -hmm. and i guarantee you if you don't put your idea out there someone yeah. else will figure it out and if you can't put, put it, it out, out but you. you can give it you could do it in a community base too where now it actually happens because this industry like i've said many times before is very behind on just so much i look at other industries they're so advanced and our industry does have advancements but like um people don't grab it that, mm -hmm. that's the other thing so like uh We've had people that are not even in this industry that we've interviewed that they do things that are revolutionary for the industry, but people don't see it that way. And since it's not trending and people don't use it, it's very it, like it's very hard for them to lift off. Like slow um, to catch on. Yeah, yeah, slow to catch on. Like one of them was planning. Like everything was, you know, a newspaper. Everything was, um, you know, book shipped to your house or shipped to your office and stuff like that, which is great. I think that that's number one. Thank God that that was even created. But then you look at online plants and yeah, no one's gonna buy. Nobody's gonna buy. That was a great tool. I was using Planet. Well, Absolutely. we use it. We use it now. Yeah. And that is something online that is more of a staple for our industry, at least in our region, is very well known. I've talked to people like in Georgia and other parts that that is not familiar. They jump there, they look at their radius, and they type in a plant, and nothing pops up. Nobody posts on there, uh, but which is just more of a of awareness, lack of awareness. But you know, there's always room for innovation and even though you are pushing to do something that you know is going to be groundbreaking for the industry over time if you stay persistent with it you continue to educate people on it then more people jump on they talk about it and before you know it it becomes a thing and it becomes a necessity at the end of the day for mm -hmm. an industry you know i feel like plan and i feel like bet rocks plan front these are necessities yes, that if we didn't have this yes. we'll be you know you would have to rely on just remembering where things are or writing down addresses and you know, like all of that. And that, we're not trying to go backwards. We're trying to go and forward. When we think about it, we really have tools that mm -hmm. are, you know, like legit. before we didn't have. We have didn't tools. Have, yeah. And it is an industry that, like you said, although there is some innovation, we've seen like robots moving mm -hmm. plants around. We've seen processes mm -hmm. and things that are innovative. But I do think as a whole, the industry still lacks a lot, yeah. some of that forward thinking and innovation, how important it is for our industry to even survive mm -hmm. because you know processes so if you can create like resources processes and make things quicker easier mm -hmm. um why not you know what i mean so that the bottom you make more money in the bottom line so mm -hmm. i know it's a lot of work up front to create something but 
think about what it can do for the industry mm -hmm. as a whole. Yeah. Um, being and, and being yeah, efficient. Being efficient. Thank we you. Saw, and we saw a lot simplifying of that complexities, COVID. I guess, yeah. is what I was looking to say. How do we simplify complexities to work faster? We know that the bottom line, more efficient, um, it's there's small margins. Mm -hmm. So how do we, you know, so to survive because everything's going up, cost of materials, everything. And we have to raise our prices on our plants. We don't want to do it, but you have to do it. So how do we also add value the, to the consumer? We're thinking innovatively about the future and even down to like fashion. I know I mentioned that. It's mm -hmm. like somebody, plant if you're fashion. listening, please <laughs> innovate, create some plant fashion. We want it. It doesn't have to be like super chic, high end, but like there's the one that does the arm guards, the material. The material. Guards? There's, there's so many things that we can create the ergonomic tools we use in the gardens and stuff like that. Like there's so, I think there's a huge um, opportunity there. I just don't see people grabbing onto that. Like I said, this, the, the one with the sleeves, that was pretty creative. They created the sleeve. What is that? They, I forget the name, but you wear the sleeves and it keeps from scratching your arms or whatever. And they're like decorative. Oh, design okay, or okay. Whatever. So almost this is like not plant-based. Like this the is baseball ones? Like the baseball ones? Kind of like the baseball one and almost like the... Um, Remember the ones you buy in the costumes? Like if you want to have like fake tats or whatever, oh, yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. it oh, kind of yes. looks like that. The so Ed it's Hardy super, type yes, shirt. yes. So it's like, like decorative, a breathable, like a dry fit. A dry and fit sleeve. So when you're pruning or you're You don't get all cut cleaning, up. Like think about a bougainvillea or whatever, and it's not cutting you all up. It's still sunscreen, UV protectant. So we yeah. do want that. We want to stay safe. Yeah. Um, you know, but cute hats and like just. Cute know, hats for the landscape crew, For the guys. landscape <laughs> crew and, you know clothing that is you know it's good i don't want to be in a potato you know sack is? out there every day i, I you know hats, but shaped like a flower so. shaped you know? like a flower a, a hunter sombrero. if you're listening we need some flower. new boots yeah uh, you know so i try right mm -hmm. i try but you no, know but <laughs> there is only so much no, but that i could come up with so if you guys are listening if you guys are no, but think about that you, you get you get boots for outside that the sole is shaped like a like a sunflower or something yeah, something it. crazy oh my gosh. and then you got the I'll hats that are trimmed like a flower like a you know petals I'll buy it. and then like petals, petals like glasses that are like leaf petals like leaves. oh my god call me I yes. got ideas. Yes. <laughs> I got ideas. No, why? mark yeah. my words. There will be a big fashion line for Look, guys, at the end of the day, the listen, garden industry. You are a landscape company. You want to stand out. You get your crew, all the boys, this attire, and they wear it. You rock it. You do a video, 100% viral. Listen, the these, like. And you're blowing up the, you're blowing it up. <laughs> not kidding. Not kidding. Like the guy that did the, um, he's a landscaper and he's got pink trucks. Oh, yes. On pink yes, trucks. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Yes, and yeah. he stands out. Well, Pink out. has been in ever since breast cancer awareness. Yeah, but he, he was the first that came yeah. out with like these a landscaper pink. in yeah. pink, mm -hmm. a, a masculine man yeah. here, like in a landscaping yeah. truck, and it's all pink. I yeah. was like, oh, I came up with that before you did, mentira. That, but I, you know, I, I, whatever. Me you gotta go make. Thinking, you know what I'm, you gotta do? Get a sticker of your face and stick it on the truck when they're not looking. I did and that, that to some of our, our little A frames. <laughs> <laughs> with then, with your QR code looking, on the corner, and then peel it off at the stop no, sign. No, you leave it. You leave it. Don't me. leave it. Don't leave it. Don't be like, <laughs> You've left me with so many ideas. I'm leaving here a stronger, <laughs> stronger. bigger person. No, there, there's a lot of opportunity, and like uh, for you guys, this is, I know we're joking around, we're having fun, uh, but the 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 innovation and creativeness that you guys may have in the right hands it can it can happen and then you might be thinking oh man but someone's gonna take my idea like she just says my idea this and that blah, blah, blah. you can set up there's so many ways to yeah. structure something where where you can collect from something mm -hmm. let someone else actually do it and you get a distribution or you get whatever yes. and you're part of it and you can you can watch the baby grow up and you know you, you can't do it on your own at the end of the day you I'm, can't i'm sitting here because i have a crew that can allow me to do this i cannot be a nursery by myself it's you impossible. could start on your own oh, what is it you'll go far or faster but you won't go further you like look, alone you'll go faster but together you'll go farther so it, it's it, alone i won't know. go nowhere <laughs> because go i'll nowhere. I, I can well, you, plant 400 sevens a day yeah and, you can yeah. you can start you know lining your ducks and the idea starts with you so you can start mm -hmm. your dream alone but to grow to scale you do need um people and you need more brains because yeah. brainstorming is awesome like when you get with a bunch of humans together and, and like-minded people oh, i that's love brainstorm powerful. sessions that's crazy we sit in powerful. circles and we're like here's the topic yeah. and let's brainstorm just free yeah. range 
open yeah. and the ideas that come out mm -hmm. the ideas are there people the ideas are there for the taking it's executing it who's going to be brave enough to to take the leap of faith and bet on yourself mm -hmm. and, and go out there and do it yeah you have to yeah talk to us the last question we ask everybody what do you see for the future of this industry and the youth what would you like to see more of I see more youth coming on board. Uh, I think that as in which uh, in which avenue? A, in on the grower side. Growers. So I'm meeting a lot of young growers. For real? Growers, really, really exciting. I'm okay. glad you guys are getting into hort horticulture. I am. I see a bunch. They're of the them. heroes, our mm -hmm. unsung heroes of the industry, our growers. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm seeing a lot of on the grower side, and then um, you know there was the big boom of like the retail, the the independent garden centers. Um, so I think you're going to see more on the hard good side mm -hmm. more innovation on garden products um i think we're going to see more of that and that's where i see the industry growing it's hard to say on plant sales you know mm -hmm. with with inflation everything happening mm -hmm. uh, people don't always see us as a an essential item mm -hmm. i guess um but i do because i i know what plants do for us i know the wellness and how it makes you feel good and um, so I, like I know the essential, benefits. We're essential for the people that like it. I think we are essential for the mm -hmm. people that know it, appreciate it, mm -hmm. um, you know, and so live it. I think it's essential. So I don't. I want to see more innovation. So in, and I'm just always craving more innovation. Who's gonna come up with what and what is it? And I think e-commerce. You know, we'll keep growing. Mm -hmm. We'll keep growing. And so I think that's gonna be okay. I think the e-commerce side will be okay. Um, it's more of the brick and mortars that I think about a lot. Like, how can you get more traffic in? And I think if you're listening now, maybe creating experiences in the garden. And what that means is, how can I come here and have a cool interactive experience in your garden? Do you bring in a little coffee shop? Yeah. Do you bring in a little ice cream stand? Do something you for the kids. something for the kids? Do you do cool vignettes that are real? picture uh what do they call it the pic social media picture worthy things like it's bringing people in to have experiences maybe they live in like small apartments or in, in little uh spaces that they can't have garden centers huge garden centers bring them to you figure out how you're going to pull that traffic in because we still want to see it i love touching things i love feeling textures and seeing what options i have and smelling product <laughs> so mm -hmm. the brick and mortar will still be a necessity but I hate seeing all these brick and mortars closing down and, you know, it's happening a lot and just, eat. I don't know if it's um, from COVID that it's just finally caught up or what mm -hmm. it is or what, what's causing it. You know, we know inflation, but um, rents, everything's just mm -hmm. absurd down here. Um, but just think about how do I get that client in through my doors? Mm -hmm. Leave the selling, think the selling as a second part. Because mm -hmm. once they're in the door, it's your responsibility to make sure they leave yeah. having bought something. But how do I get them here? Mm -hmm. So think, is it workshops? Is it, you know... Botanical uh, garden. Look, I've gone, I go to botanical gardens with the kids and stuff. I do a lot of activities with my kids. I know. My I kids know. are six and Very, five. That's and five. amazing. And we go to the botanical gardens and there is, you know, market going on. Uh, the market like you've done at the zoo. Mm -hmm. uh, at the zoo, we go to the zoo a lot. They do, what is it, once a month. They, the whole yes. entrance is just, there's like yes. 60 tents there. And then they'll do it inside too. You know, that's super cool. Fairchild, um, I saw, had Fairchild, one. Fairchild, yeah. What is this other where we had the Orchid Festival? Right here, Fruit, mm -hmm. Fruit and Spice Park. Fruit and Spice Park, so. What you got to me, oh, I was going to ask I you. How was a, that meeting, Matthew? That has been long time coming. and The so, plant guy. Yeah, so uh -huh. we've had kind of a friendship, you know, through the phone and through social, social media, media for, for some time. Uh -huh. We just couldn't make it happen because we're very busy. We're both very yeah. busy, so we've always kind of been like two ships sailing. Uh -huh. And you night. pass each other far away. And that was not even, so I'm coming, I, I'm coming into the the orchid festival and he's leaving and it was oh, yeah. hot as ever like yeah. and i remember he was just like in a hurry but we just just finally fate yeah, made he, it happen and we just bumped into each other awesome. and i said matt and he looked over and he was there with his with his partner yeah. and i was with mine and we all introduced each other and it was really cool he's so good. i told him he asked me he's like you're gonna go i was like no i can't go i have something going on that day oh it's amazing have him, you dress, been you've been no yeah, i yeah. told him dress dress uh light 
<laughs> but he had already left the house and he was dredged they was need more misters there they the, the we need to put a little bit more i don't know if you're watching uh fruit and spice park but like the misters and they like, need donations probably for those some, misters. It, come to the fruit and spice park i've always come went to the, since a little mm -hmm. girl i grew up right yeah, like, right literally here. right down the street mm -hmm. from fruit and spice park that's that was where i lived and um it's always been so exciting yeah. for me. I'd go and pick the fruit off the ground and eat it and just learn about plants. So there's a lot to learn there from like agriculture and plants. Mm -hmm. But they have cool, they do have the cool festivals there. But I was yeah. like, what is going on? There was like people fainting around me and stuff. I was like, oh my God, is it going to happen to me next? Yeah. That's when you go and you sell water. You set up a booth <laughs> so of like, like fans. like, you're like No, my like friend, Farm Misters. Life Kettle. They were there. Farm mm -hmm. Life Kettle, best lemonade in town. So oh, I gave my lemonade. Arnold Palmer and I was like under the little banana field. You know, they have the yeah. little banana mm -hmm. field. And right under the banana field, I sh like sought shelter. <laughs> and I was like, well, let's. Let's see if I can if I'm if I'm gonna make this whole festival because I was so excited I was like what it was my birthday weekend and I'm like oh, wow. forget it my husband will buy me anything I want because take advantage of it today is yes. my birthday he'll give me any orchid anything I want, want here so I was on a mission to find the right orchid yeah and the specimens you see and the things was well, RF orchids there probably no? yeah. I didn't see them but I'm sure they were probably there but it was so many cool orchids so if you really want to see exotic orchids like things you've never seen before or if you have before, and you want to be a part of it or if you have if you want to sell them yeah there's a lot of there's so much opportunity guys you can find a list of you know 20 places you can put yourself on a Saturday and Sunday and you can go out and do that and that's a crazy way of generating sales generating opportunities shaking hands meeting people you never know who's there uh, someone could change your life literally by maybe don't by start being in the there. summer maybe start in the fall because yeah, this summer or, has or been start brutal. in the summer when it's hard that way the fall is like a breeze <laughs> it'll be a breeze yeah maybe throw them right into the shark tank <laughs> guys um we had a lot of fun thank you so we much always for have coming fun. thank you is there anything else you want to say uh, to no. the to the listeners no is there the anything viewers? else you want to ask me <laughs> No, no, that's that's about it, guys. Uh, we, we always have a good time. We always have a good time together, and you know it's nice to see someone that is so passionate in a different side, like all of us. You guys that made it to the end, you're passionate about the industry too. Um, and if you always, if you want to jump on and you want to talk to us about what you're doing, anything innovative, an idea, uh, you're more than welcome to jump on the podcast. If you just want to talk to us, you can always reach out three zero five two sixteen. 5320 you can ask to speak with eddie or william you will get transferred over to us and also you can dm us you can shoot us a voice memo straight up right there bah, dm the plant movement you already know check us out on the plantmovement.com guys for anything that you need there to see everything that we do and we love you guys thank you guys god bless you guys stay focused stay pumped stay hungry and like Olga said, face your fears, right. jump over face them, them. Jump over, and we'll them see you face. guys on HSN. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see you guys at TPIA 2025. She's gonna be the president, be on stage. All right, if you go, she's gonna be giving out a hundred dollar free vouchers. A hundred dollar free voucher. Free hot dogs. <laughs> Maybe free hot dogs. Maybe some free. <laughs> you ain't gonna get nothing but a hug. But, but stay tuned. You will see us there. I'll yeah. see you there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I expect to see you guys there. We'll be there. Eddie, you and Eddie. We have no choice. We have to be there. We can't miss it. You can't miss it. Yeah. It's like you missing your kid's birthday. You, if you every the who's who's of the who you gotta it's be gonna there. be there. It's yeah. gonna be there. So we'll see you in January. Guys, we love you. God bless. Stay safe. Strive for improvement. Time for the blueprint. Minds to elevate, thrive and demonstrate, plant in a movement. Sow the seeds, educate the flourish, building up the team, our network with purpose. This industry is green, only scratch the surface, no this call is deep, nobody gon' not work us Yeah, we chasing greatness, trying to give the code, moving up with patience, foundation stone Doing what it takes, we're here to break the mold, this for anyone who wanna level up Let's grow